Hi, I'm Scott Evans, and I'm with my colleague here, Kareem, to show you the next generation of Kinect sensor. Kareem, would you mind joining me in front of the sensor? There you go. We've got Kareem here, and you're seeing him in all his 3D glory. Uh, the Kinect sensor has 3D vision capability, about three times the fidelity of 3D vision than we had in the first generation sensor. You can see a lot of details here. You can see Kareem's individual fingers. You can see the wrinkles in his shirt. You can even see his facial features. And it's this high fidelity 3D vision that's really going to enable a whole new set of natural interaction scenarios. Now, in addition to the increased fidelity, we also have a much larger field of view. Uh, Kareem is a pretty tall gentleman. He's standing only about a meter and a half away from the sensor right now, much closer than he was able to stand with the first generation Kinect. We also have a much wider field of view. This is a big sofa, and you can see the entire sofa uh, is in the field of view of the Kinect sensor. Now, in addition to its 3D capabilities, Kinect also has a 2D color camera. I'm going to turn that on now. Hi, Kareem. Now you're seeing Kareem in 2D color. Uh, we've made that color feed 1080p across that large field of view, great for Skype scenarios. Uh, but one of the challenges with color, uh, color camera feeds is that they're very susceptible to changes in room lighting. So to show this, we're going to bring down the room lights. And, you know, gamers, they'll often play a game in a dimly lit room. You often want to watch a movie in the dark. You can see that we've just lost Kareem completely in the shadows here. This is not very useful anymore. So we've introduced a new technology we call Active IR. We're going to turn that on now. And there's Kareem in Active IR. We have the ability to see in the dark with the new Kinect sensor. Uh, and the Active IR technology also enables us to remove ambient room lighting. Uh, so Kareem's got a flashlight. He's going to bring out this flashlight. Uh, and we'll go back to color feed. And this flashlight's simulating different variations in the room lighting. Uh, maybe a lamp off to a side, being backlit, being front lit. And you can see how those variations really wreak havoc on the image, make it really difficult to see who's in the frame. When we turn on active IR, we can see that all of that ambient room light is being removed. So the image is very consistent, perfect for identifying people by their faces.